This is K Progeny with more wisdom for my progeny. This message is to the Christians. Just a few facts that you probably didn't know. Did you know that when Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, went to the town of Yathrib, which was occupied by the Jews, they said, you are the prophet of the Torah, so we bear witness of you. And the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, there is one who came before me that you deny. Bear witness of him first. And they said, we know of no such prophet. And he said, if you bear witness that I am a prophet, then take my witness. And he said, I bear witness that there is no God but one God. And I bear witness that Jesus, the son of Mary, is the Christ and the Messiah. Another fun fact, when the Muslims were being persecuted in Mecca, Prophet Muhammad sent the weaker Muslims who couldn't be protected or had no family to protect them to King al-Najashi, al-Asham. He was a Christian king and he gave them refuge because he said the difference between what Jesus says, peace and blessings be upon him, and what Prophet Muhammad says, peace and blessings be upon him, are like rays, two rays from the same sun. So let's try to look at what we have in common. And the truth of the matter is that Jesus said there was one God. And he didn't just say there was one God. He said, our God. Y'all check this out. Let's look at Christianity. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, my religion is Christianity. Not mine. Not mine. That's a wicked religion. That's right. That religion came out of hell. That's right. Someone said, what? Jesus started Christianity. He did not. No. You can't find nowhere in the Bible that Jesus started a religion called Christianity. That's, That's right. what you've been taught. That's right. And because you didn't know no better, you went around professing, well, my religion is Christianity. Well, you say Christian is not in the Bible. I didn't say that. No. Let's see where they were first called Christians at. Disciples were called Christians. The, the disciples was called Christians. First. First. In Antioch. They was first called Christians in a place called Antioch, Antioch because they saw disciples or follower of Jesus acting like Christ. That's right. Living a Christ-like life. So a Christian is a person. That's right. Christianity is a religion. That's right. And nowhere in the Bible did Jesus tell us that our religion was Christianity. Christianity. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, who were they? Matthew who? Mark who? Luke who? And John who? What were their last names? When did they write? Did they know Jesus Christ? Did they walk with Jesus Christ? Did they eat with Jesus Christ? Did they talk with Jesus Christ? Did they even meet Jesus Christ? The answer is... No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. No, 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 conclusively. The earliest of them that wrote, wrote 40 years after Jesus Christ, so they never met him. The last of them wrote 80 years after Jesus Christ, never met him. The other thing is, all of them seem to have written the gospel according to, according to, according to, according to. Now, when you write a letter, do you sign it according to? Where in the world is a document with only one name of four different writers that did not meet the one whom they're writing about? Where is that accepted in the whole world? Nowhere except in the Bible. Because a writer would not write his only, his first name according to. When it comes to Christianity, when I speak to Christians, I ask them what is their faith, Christianity. And I asked them, what does that mean to, to, to be Christ-like? And I said, okay, what was the faith of Jesus? Simple as that. What was the faith of Jesus? If you're a Christian, what was he? You can't say he was a Christian because that means to be Christ-like. So what was his faith? As a Muslim, I prefer to follow the faith of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, which was to submit myself to the will of God. So that gets the kind of the, the ball rolling. That you say you're a Christian, you follow Christ, but well, what was his faith? 
And, and they really, and that becomes like, they're like, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Because you worship Jesus, what was his faith? Did he worship himself? Like, what was his faith? So if you want to be Christ-like, you need to go figure out what his faith was, what he practiced, what he, what he worshipped, whom he worshipped, and you follow that. That's what it means to be Christ-like. Because what you're doing in reality as a Christian is following what Paul taught that Jesus' peace be upon him was. That's how the whole Christian theology came about. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or follow, and y'all be good.